Welcome to Opalice TV. Today I'm in Paris together with Tan Long Win. He is the CEO of HDL Capital and is also a co-founder of QuantCoop Technologies. HDL Capital is a very unique AI-driven asset management company. So Tan, please tell us more about the company, your background and the mission of HDL Capital. Before uh, creating HTL uh, Capital uh, Management, I have uh, spent all my career in uh, quantitative uh, investment uh, strategies, starting uh, back to 1998 uh, for Sugen uh, in New York, and I was the first one uh, to develop and implement uh, quant investment uh, strategies. Now, what we believe uh, is that uh, the next uh, generation of investment strategies will be uh, will rely on what we call the big data or artificial intelligence. So for this purpose, uh, one year after creating HTL Capital Management, uh, we have uh, created a QuantCube technology, a uh, technology firm specialized in artificial intelligence. This uh, technology company uh, is a kind of a research uh, arm of HTL Capital Management with more than 30 people on board. Most of them are data scientists. This technology company has been as well selected by European Space Agency to analyze satellite data analytics for fintech applications by the Central Bank, uh, Central Bank of France uh, for digital economy estimation and is quite involved in numerous uh, data science uh, competition where we got uh, different kinds of awards. So uh, it provides us a very uh, good uh, competitive edge in this field uh, to uh, develop and implement uh, this uh, new kind of uh, investment strategies based on big data sources such as social media, blogs, maritime traffic, satellite data, oceanographic or meteorological data. And our objective is to disrupt the asset management world using artificial intelligence. Right, Tan Long, this is fascinating. I wonder, does it make money? Yes, uh, it makes uh, money uh, and uh, as I have uh, mentioned uh, before, we have developed this uh, technology since uh, 2012, uh, running live uh, since August uh, 2013. As you can see, as well as the public uh, information, uh, we have also created a UCIT fund uh, called Alpha Now Long Short Equity, uh, which is up not only in 2017, as well in 2018, and uh, it has uh, uh, overperform uh, systematic as well artificial intelligence uh, strategies uh, in this category here. Yeah. Because uh, of uh, the good uh, performances, uh, we got uh, quite a, a lot of uh, demand for financial institutions, uh, especially to launch a Cayman fund uh, that we plan to launch by the end of uh, 2018 or beginning of 2019 with a higher target volatility of uh, 15% which will uh, deliver around uh, 15 to 20% uh, net performance. At least it would be our objective. And the reason why it delivers uh, absolute uh, performance, uh, it is uh, because of the uh, extraction of alpha from new data sources uh, that are orthogonal to each other. As I have mentioned, we use data such as, you know, social media, satellite data, which are very different from traditional market data such as market prices or fundamental or economics reports. By analyzing uh, those uh, different set of data, we extract value which generate uh, alpha. How would you say your company HDL Capital differs from a traditional quant firm? So since I started uh, at Sogen back to 98, uh, I was always in fact at the forefront of innovation in terms of quant investment strategies as well. Statistical arbitrage, high frequency trading, uh, and now it's about uh, big data analytics, uh, how to extract value from all those new data sets, from social media, from satellite data. And I think about all those uh, new data, series, data sources 
all the time. HCL Capital Management, different sheets from traditional quant firms by using all those new data sources. Usually traditional quant firms you do, you know, trend following, mean reverting uh, investment strategies, uh, etc. In this case, uh, we use uh, those uh, unique data sets to generate uh, uncorrelated uh, buy-sell signals. Uh, and this is a reason why it differentiates uh, from traditional quant firms by using other data sets uh, and uh, to deliver uncorrelated uh, as well positive uh, performances. So we have now David Tai with us. He's a portfolio manager at HTL Capital, and he will explain to us how to turn this big data into an alpha portfolio of investment strategies. Let me tell you first about our general investment philosophy in a few words. So on our side, ideas and fundamental reasons are really important. So once we get an idea that makes sense, we're going to specify the data we need, get the data, analyze it, and turn it into an investment signals. And since everything on our side is really fundamental based, AI is only used as a tool you know, to quantify information within non-structured data. So do you mean that you only use AI for your investment decisions? Yes, and even if everything is systematic on our side, all the decision-making process are still really fundamental, so we're really far away from a black box. And the reason why is that transparency really matters to us, because one, in terms of understanding where the p &L comes from, but as well as um, understanding what triggers uh, different sources of alpha. And today, AI helps us exploiting information with data that couldn't be exploited in the past, uh, from a systematic point of view at least. So we have now Serge Barbosa. He is a portfolio manager at HDL Capital and he graduated in artificial intelligence. Well, to start, Serge, explain us what is AI? What is artificial intelligence? In general, AI is when a machine mimics the human behavior and more specifically, the cognitive uh, function like learning. AI is a vast area and it includes natural language processing, machine learning and also computer vision, for example. Natural language processing is about the use of computer to analyze and process a large amount of uh, natural language data the main challenge in natural language processing is speech recognition and uh, natural language understanding. To give you a more concrete example, you can use NLP to extract the sentiment of a text. So I'm asking now Alexandre Tor. He is a risk manager at HDL Capital. How do you actually comply with regulations when you work with big data and artificial intelligence? How do you make sure not to go against GDPR, for example? On the one hand, obviously, we have an ethic chart relative to data usage. We also comply all European laws and directives relative to data usage and data protection. On the other hand, what is really important to us is that we use public data and data available for purchase to generate or buy and sell signals. In that manner, data acquisition and algorithm methodologies are transparent to our investors. So in a strategy like yours, data quality is really everything. How do you ensure that you have quality data? Every time we use an alternative data, we ensure that the data are cleaned, reliable and well processed. That's why there are three main concepts which is matter to us. The validity of data, the completeness of data and the continuous availability of data. For example, regarding availability concepts, we have access to one of the largest data sets of the alternative data space. It is therefore relevant to perform robust and consistent backtests time after time. 